central Kentucky are closed today. People are on high alert there as authorities try to track down a man who's accused of shooting five people on I-75. This is the man they're searching for, Joseph Couch. Authorities believe he is in the woods near where his car was found about an hour and 15 minutes southeast of Lexington, Kentucky. But because of how thick the brush is, deputies paused the search overnight. Law enforcement is warning people to stay alert. And you need to lock your doors. You need to, uh, if you have security cameras, make sure you're constantly watching them. Um, maybe keep your porch lights on. Uh, have communication. Have your cell phone and make sure your phones are charged up because you never know when you might have to contact somebody or law enforcement. <laughs> fire Saturday along the interstate. All five people are expected to survive. In rural Kentucky, an intensifying manhunt is now entering its third day as authorities make a desperate plea to the shooter who opened fire on a Kentucky highway Saturday, wounding at least five people. We would ask that he would give himself up. Uh, and we're not going to quit until we do lay hands on him. Authorities say 32-year-old Joseph Couch purchased an AR-15 on Saturday in London, Kentucky, drove up Interstate 75, parked his car on a service road, then perched on a ledge below a cliff where he began shooting multiple rounds into 12 vehicles, striking multiple victims in the chest, arm, and head. Multiple gunshot victims, the shooter... I don't know exactly where he Christina Donato was driving cross country with a friend on I-75 when the shooting happened. We were both in shock about it, you know, because it seemed like we literally dodged a bullet. Now, dozens of law enforcement from multiple agencies are hunting him down using drones, helicopters and canines to scour thousands of acres of rugged terrain. You actually need machetes and everything to get through these thickets of woods. And, you know, you can't do it very fast because you don't want to leave no rock unturned. Couch is described as a 5 foot 10 white male weighing 154 pounds. And while authorities believe he's still in the woods near the shooting scene, they admit that anything is possible, including the possibility that he took his own life. We think that he's still in that area, but he could not be in that area. He could be somewhere else anywhere else. Now the community on edge as the dangerous suspect remains on the run. Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm going to be praying for the community and our first responders. Local schools here remain closed today as police continue to scour the densely wooded area near Interstate 75 where this terrifying shooting took place on Saturday. We are learning new information about the suspect's background. The suspect has been identified by authorities as 32-year-old Joseph A. Couch. They're describing him as a white male, 5 foot 10, around 154 pounds. Authorities say he came to London, Kentucky on Saturday and purchased an AR-15 and then took his car, drove it to where the shooting took place, parked and then walked over to a ledge below a cliff where he then opened fire on both lanes of the highway, striking 12 vehicles and hitting five victims who were shot in the face, the chest and the arm. As of Sunday evening, all were still recovering in the hospital. Police have recovered that AR-15 and the vehicle. They do believe that he is in that densely wooded area, but they say that anything is possible, including the fact that he could still be armed and dangerous or they're not ruling out the possibility that he could have taken his own life. Back to you.